hi guys welcome back to my channel in my last video i drafted the patterns for this dress and i transferred to fabric so this video is the sewing tutorial for this dress if you have not yet watched the pattern drafting i'll link it in the description box so that you can understand better what i'll be doing in this video now let's jump right into the tutorial in my last video i didn't cut out the sleeve so before we move on to sewing the dress now, I'll show you how to achieve that flare sleeves. I have my basic sleeve pattern here and I'll start by drawing a line at the center of the pattern paper. Next, I'll come down by 2 inches from that point, then I'll make a mark there and I'll also do the same thing at the other side. I'll come down by 2 inches and I'll make a mark, then I'll come in with my curve and I'll connect that point to the center of the pattern paper. I'll do the same thing on the other side too. The point I came down by 2 inch, I'm connecting it to the center of the paper. I am cutting out that part now because I don't need it. After cutting, I'll draw slash lines on the paper. I have a space of 2 inches between each line so i'm just drawing out slash lines on the paper then after drawing we'll be doing a slash and spread on the fabric so that you don't get confused in identifying the top of the sleeve you can actually write top on that part or you can notch it so that you can know that that is the top of the sleeve so yeah i'm just cutting out the slash lines we created earlier and i'll go ahead and spread it on fabric this is the fabric I have left and guys, if you want to make yours, you can go ahead and spread it very well so that you can have more fullness on the sleeves. But I'm using two yards of fab fabric for this dress, so I don't really have enough fabric to spread it well. So I'll just leave a little bit of space in between the paper and I'll pin it down and I'll cut it out. But if you want to make yours, you can spread and leave a space of two inches or one inch in between each pieces of the paper so now i'll go ahead and cut it out then i'll cut another one as a second sleeve and that will be all for the sleeves these are the front and back pieces i cut out from the last video i'll go over to the sewing machine now and join the center front to the side pieces and also the center back to the side pieces i actually lost the clip where i opened up the fabric and pinned each pieces together to show you exactly what i'm talking about here but if you have been following my videos you know exactly what i mean when i say i want to join the front the center front to the side pieces and the center back to the side pieces so now i'll just go ahead and do it now then i'll show you what to do next this is after joining the pieces together i've gone ahead to join the, this is the back i've gone ahead to join the side piece to the center back for both the lining and the fabric this is the fabric i'm showing you now and this is what it looks like and this is also the lining i've gone ahead to do the same thing to the lining and also for the back for the front of the dress too i've gone ahead to do the same thing to the front i've joined the center front to the side pieces and also the lining i've done the same thing to the lining and this is what we have now i'll go over to the sewing machine and use the lining to turn the neckline and also the center back where the zip will be i'll use the lining to turn them and also for the front part of the dress i'll go over to the sewing machine and also use the lining to turn the neckline of the front this is the front of the dress I'll use the lining to turn it, then I'll show you what to do next. After turning the neckline with the lining and also the zip area, I went ahead to press it. Guys, you need to press while stitching so that your work will come out neat so i've gone ahead to press my wheel and this is what we have 
I'll just go over to the sewing machine now and fix my zip and I'll join the sides of the front and back together and I'll show you what to do next. I have fixed my zip and I've joined the sides together. So the next thing to do now is to fix the down part of this dress. The down part that has the gathers, that is the next thing for us to do now. To get the down part of this dress, you subtract the half length from the full length of the dress and that is how to get this part that has the gathers. So now after subtracting my, I have 18 inches. So that is what I'll be joining to this half length. And the width I cut out is times two of my hip measurements. I cut out times two of my hip measurements as the width of the fabric. So yeah, I've gone ahead to run a gather stitch at the top part and I hem the down part. So it's the gathers part I'll be attaching to the half length of the dress. So I'll attach it like so. Then moving on to the sleeve now. This is the sleeve we cut out earlier and I've cut out the lining also. So I'll go ahead now and turn the fabric with the lining. Then I'll show you what to do next. Right now, we are almost done with the dress and if you have watched to this point and you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please and please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, like my video and if you have a suggestion on the kind of video you want me to do, please leave it in the comment section. So now, what we are left with on the dress is the sleeves. I've gone ahead to turn the sleeves with the lining and I've also joined the sides. So what is left for me now to do is to attach the sleeve to the armhole. Make sure that the armhole of the sleeves matches that of the dress so that you can easily attach it. So yeah, I'll just go ahead to the sewing machine now and fix the sleeve and I'll show you the finished look. Thank you guys for watching. Please like my video, subscribe to my channel and turn on your notification bell so that you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.